Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Insane Man. This is Supreeta. So in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys some tips about how you can study your textbook effectively and how you can remember what you have studied for a longer period of time. So I'm going to be giving some concept-based secret tips. So make sure you watch the video till the end. But before I start the actual video, I just want to thank all my subscribers and my viewers because my channel has crossed 500 subscribers. This means a lot to me. It keeps me motivated to, you know, keep on putting more and more videos for you guys. So thanks a lot for subscribing to my channel. Anyway, that I hope that uh, the tips that I'm going to give you guys today are going to help you read better and score well in your exams. Tip number one. Don't just read but understand the concepts. Now this is something that everybody keeps on telling all the time but how do you actually do it? Well I'm going to show you guys how I do it. But before I show it to you, one of the most important tips for you guys to understand the concept is don't start reading one week before the exam. Start reading early, okay? Hey guys, so this is what I usually keep with me when I sit down to read. I'll keep a pencil or a pen or a highlighter whatever you use to underline or highlight stuff and then you will need some scrap papers or even if you have a book kept for each subject it's well and good and then of course you will need your textbook so i'm going to show you guys an example from my pathology textbook i was recently reading fi zima so this is how i try and understand the concepts okay so See, whenever I start reading, this is the way I approach a new topic. Let's look at this. When I look at emphysema, I first start looking at all the subdivisions that are given under this topic. So the subdivisions given here are types of emphysema, which will be four types. So I know I'll have to read about sentry asinar, pan asinar, and paraseptal and irregular emphysema and then I have to know about the incidence, the pathogenesis and then of course the clinical course of the disease and emphysema will be done. So after I have seen the subheadings what I do is I put down a framework for myself like this. So in emphysema I have to know the definition, I have to know the types so there are four types and then I have to know the incidence and pathogenesis and the clinical course. So now I basically have a framework of which I have to follow to read as well as to write my answers. After this is done what I do is I just start skimming through whatever text is given here. So I just start reading okay and then underlining stuff which I feel is important okay so if you can see here I have underlined some important parts in the definition and then yeah I just go on reading so this is basically going to be my first reading okay this is what I do I just skim through for the first time and after my first reading is done there are so many concepts that I would definitely not have understood so what I do after this is I either look at the notes that I made in the class or I go online and look at videos this is what I do most of the times I go online and start looking at videos like it can be animation videos or clinical case presentation videos or just explanatory videos like there are so many videos from osmosis or ninja nerd or dr najib so i look at these explanatory videos and by the time i look at these explanatory videos i am clear with most of the concepts trust me if you look at videos you are concepts will become very very clear now after this is done what i do after the video watching thing is done i come back to the text okay and i do the second reading now you guys might be like how can i read two times and all i can't even read it for the first time but trust me after you watch the video and come back to read the textbook it's gonna take hardly five or ten minutes to revise everything because First of all, you're familiar with the text because you have done a first reading and then you're also, you know, pretty solid with your concepts because you have watched the concepts in the video, okay? So for the second time when you come and read, your understanding will be so much better.
Tip number two, improve your muscle memory. Now what I mean by muscle memory is writing and practicing stuff. Now let me give you an example. See, if I'm reading something about Sentry Asina or Emphysema, there are going to be some important points or words given in this paragraph. What I do is I just take my scrap paper or my book and I just write Sentry Asina. Sentry Asinar Emphysema main cause is smoking okay I just write it even if it's a simple thing writing can help you improve your memory so much see if you look at my textbook I have written it in so many places look at this uh, smoking Sentry Asinar mainly affects the upper lobe and then if you see here Somewhere in the text, it was given that PIMM is the normal phenotype for alpha-1 antitrypsin and PIZZ is the deficient phenotype. So I just write it here. So what I'm doing here is I'm improving my muscle memory by writing. Not just these, I even write and practice the diagrams. I don't know if you can see it here, but I have drawn this diagram, okay? So... Improve your muscle memory by writing and practicing your diagrams, important keywords or flowcharts and it's going to help you remember better. Coming to tip number three, make your own mnemonics or learn mnemonics. Now in medical for me mnemonics are always going to be a lifesaver because there is so much to remember you need to know how to use mnemonics okay so what i do is for example here i have made my own mnemonic can you see this i have written cppi now cppi is for the different types of emphysema that is given here centriacinar panacinar paraceptal and irregular okay so as soon as i'm reading if it comes to my mind that this is something that I have to remember, I try and make a mnemonic out of it. So I just wrote this CPPI and I'm pretty sure that I'm going to remember this for a long time. And so I will be easily able to remember the four different types of emphysema. Now, not just this, there are so many even books that are available which give you mnemonics like this. Make sure that you, you know, try and use mnemonics to extend your memory to be able to remember stuff for a longer time. make your own summary so after you have studied you have to make your own summary so look at this after i finished reading emphysema i started making a flowchart of my own so i know there are four types sentry pan para and irregular emphysema and out of all these four sentry asinar and pan asinar are very important so i just put two stars next to them letting me know that these two are important now after that i start continuing each individual division here i've written sentry asinar smoking is the main causative agent upper lobe is mainly affected and so on so i'm gonna continue writing this flow chart until i cover everything that's given in centriacinar emphysema and then i go to panacinar emphysema i know the major cause for panacinar emphysema is alpha 1 antitrypsin deficiency and it's mainly going to affect the lower lobe so i'm going to continue this flow chart too so what i basically am trying to tell you is that whatever you have studied try to make a summary of your own by making flowcharts so the more flowcharts you make the med the better you will be able to remember and it's going to help you write your answers well also tip number five explain whatever you have understood now whether you are going to explain it to somebody who's willing to listen to you or you're explaining it to yourself in front of the mirror just explain whatever you understood in simple words that even a layman can understand now why i tell this is because if you're able to explain whatever you have understood in a simple manner only then you have understood the concepts clearly just try this out try to explain it to somebody then you will realize how much you have understood okay this is 
all for today i know these are not like all the tips that i wanted to put in the video because i still want to make a video for each subject especially for first year i'm thinking of making a series about how you can you know do well in anatomy physiology and biochemistry individually so i'll be putting out more tips uh, pertaining to each particular subject in my upcoming videos but these are some of the general tips that i want you guys to follow whichever stream of studies you are in or whichever year of study you are in and they are going to help you bring a lot of change uh, in terms of understanding your concepts as well as remembering it so i hope this video was helpful to you guys if it was helpful make sure you let me know in the comment section below and if there are any suggestions or any mistakes that i did that you guys want to point out feel free to comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching until next time bye